Hey guys, how's it going? It's Chris here from Christopher Paul Wedding Photography and Videography based right here just outside of Cardiff in South Wales and I got another vlog episode for you today. I started the vlog about a week ago and I wanted to just kind of basically put a bit more on my personal stuff, life behind the lens out there. Um, you know, there's so many wedding photographers and videographers here in South Wales that I think you're spoiled for choice so really you know you should kind of pick someone that you click with and get along with and the best way for you to figure that out before you meet up with them which is obviously the best thing you can do but the best thing you can do to kind of get an idea of that is to kind of see what they're all about and maybe check out some blogs and vlogs and stuff like that of wedding photographers telling you what they're all about so I mentioned in episode one but I've kind of like given myself this fitness challenge I to whip myself into shape I'm running, well, running, competing a Olympic distance triathlon for a mental health organization called Heads Above the Waves. They're an amazing not-for-profit mental health organization based in Cardiff. And they help young people with mental health problems, which can be pretty scary at the best of times, but more so for people that are experiencing them for the first time. So they run workshops and give out information and basically give young people suffering with some mental health uh, stuff ways to cope with things, coping mechanisms, and, and a way out, like a lifeline pretty much. So I wish they were around when I was kind of, um, you know, me in my teen years and growing up and stuff, because, you know, they're doing a really, really important work and I really, really believe in them. So if you want to see more of that, um, basically you can check out my other account, which I'll put a link either below or above, depending on where you're watching this, but that is uh, on the Instagram, fuzz underscore chukas, and that is my art and documentary stuff. Um, and you can watch me drag my body around an Olympic distance triathlon course. And that's run by UK Triathlon. They're really good eggs, put around loads of good events. So check them out as well. And I will be doing the Ellesmere event on the 8th. So still lots of fundraising to do. So if you wanna, if you wanna feel all warm and fuzzy inside and donate a couple of quid to an amazing mental health organization, head over to the link. Go to the Instagram, Fuzz Chukas, Fuzz underscore Chukas, sorry and then click on the link in the bio and you know throw in you know a couple of quid it doesn't have to be much but the cost of a coffee or a little bit more if you're feeling like you can um all donations are really 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 appreciated and it helps like i said it helps heads above the waves carry on doing the amazing work that they're doing for young people across south wales and the uk e shoots or short for engagement shoots. I offer engagement shoots with all my wedding packages, photography and videography, because I think of them as an investment. They're a great way for us to get some FaceTime and connect before the big day. And obviously, a lot of people think, oh no, I don't like having my picture taken. Forget about it. Like, we just hang out, maybe have a couple of drinks or a coffee or some cocktails. Probably I would opt for cocktails. Um, and we just hang out and I show you how I work and we can talk about your big day. Maybe I can give you some tips or advice if there's anything you've yet to figure out. But yeah, and then you get to see how I work and we get some awesome portraits of you guys in that special moment just before you, you know, the wedding day where all that excitement is building up. And they're pretty cool because I just think, you know, when you're, when you're old and you look back on like that time in your life when you were planning all this stuff, it's like a nice momentum and you could even put it put a cherry on top of that and use some of those pictures for your save the dates or even your invites. Depending on what stage you book your wedding photographer. So I was gonna share a couple of my favorite ones from Barry, cause I live in Barry, which is just outside of Cardiff. Yeah, so Barry is just like littered with beautiful spots. And I personally like shooting engagement shoots in Barry because I grew up in Barry and a lot of the places that we go have you know hold a lot of sentiment for me as well so like when i was growing up i grew up on barry island yes that's where gavin and stacy's filmed and trust me when i went to university that as soon as you tell someone that you're from barry and gavin and stacy came out the next 10 minutes were just booked out for gavin and stacy talk but i actually don't mind it now and i'm a pretty big fan of gavin and stacy myself but i grew up on barry island and a lot of the beaches and a lot of the places that i take people for engagement shoots are actually the places where my granddad sort of took me out i used to go for a massive walk with him every day i used to go running and rock climbing and having mini adventures all the time and it's just awesome so you've got like Porth kerry jackson's bay whitmore bay there's just tons and tons and tons and tons of amazing places also really excited to shoot a wedding at la vineyard tomorrow and it's weird because it's actually our first one um, I've shot 
pretty much most wedding venues in South Wales right now. And obviously I do destination weddings as well and you know venues across you know London and Devon and Southwest and Cornwall. But it's pretty cool to have a venue that I haven't shot before to shoot tomorrow at Atlanta Vineyard. So I'm really, really looking forward to that. It's gonna be awesome. So if you guys are planning a wedding, especially if you're planning a wedding for 2020, then uh, why not come along and check the blog out? I'll leave some links in the description below or the comment above, depending on where you're watching this video. Um, so don't forget, if you want to see me drag my body around an Olympic distance triathlon course, uh, all in the name of raising funds for an amazing mental health charity, go to the Instagram, fuzz underscore chukas, and click the link in the bio. So if you're getting married in 2020 and you've still yet to book your wedding photographer for a videographer, why not head over to my website? On the homepage, I've got a big helpful guide of three things to help you choose your wedding photographer, have a skim through. If it turns out that's me, awesome. If not, then there's tons and tons of other talented wedding photographers and videographers out there. I'm sure you'll find the perfect one for you. Thanks for stopping by guys. Again, if you want any more wedding blogs, tips, ideas, and inspiration for planning your wedding, then like the channel, hit that subscribe button, and follow me on Instagram, and there'll be plenty more of these vlogs on the way.